welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. My name is Robin and this is Lamp Working 101.52. Today I wanted to share with you guys how you can do a twisted cane but make it from one color to another. So we're going to gradiate the color from one end of the cane to the other end of the cane. It's a really beautiful, super cool technique. The cane looks amazing and uh, that's it. Let's go ahead and check it out. And I hope you guys enjoy and give this a try if you haven't already. We'll see you guys next week in the dungeon. All right, I'm gonna start this twisted cane out with a base color of white. And I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit, get a nice ball on the end, and then we will go ahead and flatten it out this is almost like a, this is kind of the lollipop technique that we're gonna do here. I have four colors that I'm using. I have a violet, a blue, and I'm gonna have this violet just on the bottom half of one side. And then I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. And on the other side, I'm using a dark topaz. It's a really beautiful color and it lends itself well with the violet on the other side. I'm gonna add that to the bottom half and go ahead and flatten it out again. You can add more or less depending on how you're feeling or what kind of mood you're in or how dense the color is. So on the violet side, or actually on the topaz side, I'm gonna add um, a grass green transparent. And I do overlap it slightly with the color below it. Flatten that out, make it look nice and neat. And then we'll add our final color, which is the transparent aqua blue. These four colors look super good together. I would definitely give this a try using these colors or something similar. But any color that you try um, is gonna give you a really beautiful gradient cane. Now I'm gonna add clear to the whole thing. I will point out real quick that I actually took the color to the edges on this specific one but I, act, I, I, I like the, uh, the white stripe in between the two colors. So I did go ahead and use a different cane for the demonstration. In fact, I used every cane that I made because, uh, well, trial and error. Let's just say that, trial and error. So we're gonna add clear all around this cane and what I'm trying to do is thicken up the sides so they're almost as wide as the edge side is. Now I'm gonna add one punty to the side and go ahead and heat up the open end and start to pull it out slightly with my tweezers. That's gonna help me to get all of the colors and everything into one fine line that I can pull from and everything will turn out nice and even. It's a little sloppy here, but I, I make it work. That's what you just gotta make it work. Get everything into a small round and then pull off that tip. Now we can add the other punty. And the rest is like any other twisted cane that you're gonna pull out. You're just going to heat it up and roll it out into kind of a, I mean, it's almost like a slight bicone shape, but you do want to get it rounded. You can even pull this cane out straight and then twist it as you apply it to your bead. All right, we're just going to heat this up and pull it out. This cane looks super cool, you guys. Um, I suggest that you make this a little smaller than you think because what you're doing here is you're gonna use one full cane for the bead that you're making to get the full gradient cane around it.
The cane itself just looks gorgeous, I think. I have a couple of these just hanging around so I can look at them. All right, now um, let's go ahead. Here's the cane that I made and uh, let's make something out of this. Okay, so for this bead, I'm going to be using a white base. You can use any color you, that you would like. Just be aware that there is a lot of transparent in your cane and your base color will kind of um, act as, a, it'll help to brighten it up a little bit if you use white or a lighter color. It will also tend to wick up to the surface um, after you put the cane on, so you might see a little bit of this color in between the cane, depending on how you apply it. So just to let you know, I'm just gonna heat this up and roll it out into a nice, um, this is just gonna be a slight barrel shape bead, a little bit uh, thicker in the middle maybe. I wanna make sure that I can get my cane all the way around this bead, so I will make it a little longer uh, than I think. I, You know, my cane that I make is pretty long. It's, it's longer than a foot, so usually about two feet. But I'm going to, I did this a couple times. I will start to add the cane to one end. And what I wanna do here is give it a very, very tight wrap. So as I am going around, the cane is almost touching itself. That's how tight you want this to be. And then you'll be able to get that full gradation of color. If you have a shorter rod or twisty, then you can make a smaller bead. I use the whole cane on this bead and almost all the way to the very end, I had to let go and just cross my fingers and hope that it wrapped around perfectly. And it did, I was so happy here. I'm gonna just flatten that out, made it right to the edge. And this is like a super beautiful cane application if I must say so myself. I was really, really happy that I got the cane right where I needed to be. So I've been watching some other videos on flame working from different foreign countries and I noticed that a lot of them will shape their glass in the flame using um, using the graphite paddle. So I've been trying to kind of play around with that technique so I get better uh, used to it. Once everything is nice and cool, I'm gonna add a ton of clear on the outside. I start from the top I get a nice ball hot and I just streak it all the way down to the bottom. As I get to the other side, I end up with kind of a V shape opening and I will just add some clear glass to it to fill that up and add a little bit of clear to the swiped end so it will appear to be the same as the other end. And I'm just heating this up and we are just about done here. It's super cool, super simple. I hope you guys give this a try. And I will say real quick that in the final bead that you see at the very end of this video, it has some cracks in it because I think what happened was I may have cooled it down a little fast. This is a really thick bead. Um, so you'll see that, <laughs> you'll definitely see some cracks in the bead at the end, but gosh, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.